One of the most popular tutorials on my channel is how to do these text and video effects. However, I get a common question on how you can change the background color or something else in the background. So in this video, I'm going to show you a good method to have all that flexibility. So the first thing I have is just a open blank timeline. You can have whatever size you want. And I'm going to have a video in the background so we can have our background. Alternatively, you can also have any you can have any video or any graphic or any solid color. So if you want to make a solid color instead of a video, you can just go to File, New, Color Mat, and that'll pop up in your Project Media Panel, and you can choose whatever color you want for a color mat, and it'll just pop up just like a video clip if you want to do that instead. But in this case, I'm going to do a video on video type of thing. So this is what we're going to have as the background some lemon slicing and then I'm going to drag the clip of something I want to fill in the text with. So here we have this up close shot of a smile. Now I need to make a third layer above all of this with our text. So I'm going to grab my type tool and I'm just going to click on the project media window. It'll open up my essential graphics panel automatically and I can write out whatever I want. So I'll write out smile. You can write whatever you want. And in the Essential Graphics panel is where you can also choose whatever font style you want as well. So I'm just going to use Helvetica Bold for this example. Now, you see it's outlined right now. I'm, I can actually just change that in the appearance. But I just want to make sure when I'm doing that that I actually have the text highlighted. So you might not have to do this. It might already be solid for you. And now you can adjust the size of the text. You can center it in the Align and Transform panel of this graphics panel. And we're going to leave it at white. It doesn't really matter in this case, but just put it in the right position that you want. Now, there is one tricky point about positioning that I'll go over once we have achieved the main effect. So now I have three layers on the timeline. We have our text, and you see that's on Video Track 3, V3. We have our video clip that we want to fill in the text with, and then we have a backdrop on video track one. So on this video track two, the clip that we want to fill in the text with, I'm going to go to the effects panel and search for one called track mat key in the keying folder. I'm going to click and drag that onto that clip that we want to fill in the text with. And in the effects control panel, you'll see that effect pop up so we can adjust the parameters of it. So under the mat, this is going to tell us you know, what layer do you want to use as the mat, kind of like the outlined key. And it technically can be any track above the layer. So you want to choose the track that your text is on. In this case, that's V3. But if for some reason you're working with more clips or a larger timeline, that'll be whatever track your text is on. So I'll do video three. And we'll automatically see that we've now created a track mat from this video clip onto the text, which is nice. You also have the option of reversing it. So in this case, it's going to cut out that text and the backdrop will show through, whatever you like to do. And then as one final touch, I'm actually just going to duplicate the text. So I'll hold Option, click, and drag. That's a quick shortcut to duplicate, but you can copy and paste whatever you want to do. And in the Essential Graphics panel, I will highlight that text to edit it and turn off the fill this time, but turn on the stroke. So now I, just a cool way to create kind of like a stroke or more outline to the text just to separate from that backdrop. You can make it whatever color you want. And if you kind of want to add a little bit of fun flair, you can kind of offset the size just a, a tiny bit for, for the style of it maybe move the positioning a little. But this that's the basic effect. This is just kind of like a finishing touch. And like I was telling you about the sizing, you'll notice if you ever try to reposition the text or reposition the video within the text. So if I highlight that clip, go to the effects control panel and move the position around, you'll notice it, it just moves everything together, the text and the video. So in order to kind of reposition that crop or that mat, we're going to want to move the text layer. So in this case, I can kind of, you see now I can move the text layer 
maybe bring that mouth more into center and then move the video track back to where you want it and that's the kind of the way that you have to readjust it's a little bit weird and in, unintuitive but that's just the way that the track mat is kind of works but that's the basic idea of how to create this video in video effect if you enjoyed this video and still want some similar ideas on similar effects i have a couple more on my channel my name is justin odisho you can subscribe here on youtube to stay tuned for all of my new videos thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one